Good morning. God bless each and every one of you in the holy and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, guys, I was just, um, you know, I was feeling a little bit down this morning and I was praying and I can just feel um, the, the Holy Spirit just moving out through me. And, um, you know, I heard in the spirit, Second uh, Thessalonians 2, 2. So I looked at that and as well as chapter 3, verse 2 as well. And, um, so what happened in, the, excuse me, um, in this, in this uh, chapter, uh, verse two, uh, excuse me, chapter two, verse two, I'm going to read to you as well as chapter three, verse three in second Th- Thessalonians. Um, that's a little tough word to say. Um, but guys, you know, going to back where, you know, I was feeling down, you know, I felt a little bit down and I prayed. Right, and then I just have had I had faith that I know God will be there for me, you know, and so I just felt the fire in my chest, and I could just I can feel it right now too. I can feel the warmth. I can feel. It's hard to explain, you know, and I'm just so grateful that God, you know, I've been having a little bit of doubts. I say, you know, God, you know, I had a little bit of doubts that you know I that you don't love me, um, but I know uh, you love me. Um, and ask you to please take away whatever the enemy is trying to do to me right now. And after that, I could just feel happiness and peace. And I was just praising God. You know, I was just saying, God, thank you. You know, thank you for the peace that you've given me, the happiness that you have given me. And I, I was just, it's so hard to explain. Um, but guys, in this chapter, verse 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 2, and chapter 3, verse 3, it, just, it tells what I was uh, saying. You know, and it says, and you know what I say all the time. You know, don't be afraid. You know, if it, if it, you know, we should, we could die at any moment. We could be raptured at any moment. But what do you, what do you, what is it that you need to do at that second? Be kind. Be, be love. Right. For God is love. That love as all as as I have loved you. And I kept hearing that in the spirit, like within ten minutes ago. And it was just, I was like, oh, I need to get this video out. And I could hear it, and um, I could just hear it that says, make a video. So I'm making a video right now. So right now, it says, in chapter 2, verse 2, it goes, That ye be not sh- soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. And uh, we are... In these final days, have you not seen? Read Luke twenty-one. In Luke twenty-one, it talks about uh, uh, what the signs will be. You know, earthquakes in diverse places. We've had how many earthquakes within the last week? Over two thousand tsunami in, in, in Indonesia. The weather. You know, these are all birth pains be, leading up to Christ Christ's return. You know, and also I'm going to read this to you as well. Chapter three, verse two, in Second Thessalonians. That we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith, and that's very true. You know, even though we wish the best for them, they have they their faith is not true. You know, they they have faith, but it isn't faith in God. It isn't faith in in Christ. You know, it's either um, again with the enemy or whatever the case may be, whatever God they're they're worshiping. But um, guys, you know, in the spirit again, I kept hearing love as I have loved you, love as I have loved you. And that's the way I go by, you know, like the other day I got at work, um, like in my other videos, I've said where I worked, I work at this uh, place where, you know, God has definitely blessed me with this job because he knows that I wouldn't react in the wrong way. Um, so, you know, the way I look at things is that if you fight by the sword, you die by the sword. And cause then it says in the, in, in the Bible as well, the Lord will have vengeance on those that he, that are his, you know, he will take, he will take control. If, if someone's doing something against you, he's going to, he's going to punish them. He's not going to punish you. He's going to punish the wicked that are coming against his children as any father would, they would protect their sons. Right. So, <clears throat> so the other day, excuse me. I was um, working with this kid. His name is Eddie, and he was um, having a little bit of behavior issues, and um, he got a little upset at me because I said he couldn't play video games uh, because of his behavior. 
and um, he got a little upset, so we grabbed a painting off the wall and threw it at my chest. And um, a lot of and people were just looking at me like, why didn't you just grab him and throw him against the wall? Like, I, I wouldn't have handled that the way you would have handled. I go, because I have God. Because I know that if I do something, it won't be to my benefit. You know, it's not going to even be to his benefit. You're just going to stir up the pot to where you don't want it to be. So I just, you know, he apologized later on, and I'm grateful for that. And I'm just thankful for God to know that what he did was wrong. Um, But he took me in the other room, and he goes, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, And, you know, it seemed like he was a little bit sincere. It didn't. It didn't. Um, But I I can't judge that because these these kids go through— um, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's horrible. Like the enemy has done a number on these kids. Like in the other video I've mentioned, one of the kids, um, was his cousin got shot right in the head of him and right in his head, right in front of him. And on top of that, his uh, father sexually abused him. So, and these keeping these, keep in mind, these kids are like in a range from elementary school all the way to, to uh, 12th grade. And these, you know, the, that kid was only probably about 13 at that time. How horrible is that? Well, I know I've been just praying to God, if you guys don't mind praying too, for the, for the kids at LaSalle School in Albany. Because these kids, they go through traumatic experiences that you can't believe. The enemy has done a huge number on them. And I can't believe what he has done. And he's just made their minds just so attractive. You know, you know they're, they're his, um, survive, survival instincts. They're trying to just survive on their own. And, and, and it's just hard. It's hard to explain because I, I can't explain the things that they have gone through because it is wickedly horrible. Um, so, guys, just know that God wants a relationship with you. He, he loves you so much. He wants, he wants a relationship with you. And, you know, I was talking to the sister in Christ um, the other day, and um, she was having a little bit of stress, you know, and I, I keep telling her, you know, and I've told her this before too. Uh, keep in mind that's why I said keep telling her, but the, anyway, um, what happened was she was just, uh, um, kept thinking about what other people said, you know, what I go by and it took me a little bit of time to realize this too. Um, but just keep practicing it and practicing it. And if God sees you trying to practice it, he's going to grant you what you want, you know, um, what you're trying to do. So I told him, I told her, and I tell everybody this, and I'm going to tell you even this right now. If someone is angry, right, and 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 if if you're if that person's attacking you verbally, um, there's something going on with that person, not you. And people, you know, they try to twist verbally. The enemy tries to. He he. No. Satan's a master at manipulation and deceiving. He tries to twist it and tries to bring it back towards you at your faults, at your or at your past doings, even though you have repented. And he's trying to get you upset. He's trying to get you angry. But know that that's you know what if you repented about it, if you if God puts that in the sea of forgetfulness, he's not going to worry about that. Okay. So just don't take offense to it. He, they're either having a bad day or the enemy's trying to push you. They're just trying to push you to, ha- to try to open portals to have this, or the enemies or demons try to enter you or come near you, or whatever the case may be, to have rights to you. Um, but know that if they're, if they're yelling, just back away to say, I see you're upset. I see you're angry. Um, I see you want to just verbally attack or whatever the case may be. But I, I'm not, I didn't do anything wrong to you. So I'm just going to go over here. I'll pray for you. But I'm just going to go over here to where I'm not going to be attacked. So I rebuke you in the holy mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I'm just going to go right over here. So they might think you're a little crazy. But hey, we're all crazy in Christ, you know, for Christ. Um, but guys, don't worry about anything. Don't fear about anything. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next hour. Don't worry about the next minute. Don't worry about whatever the case may be. God has that all planned. He knows that you're in need of these things. He knows that you need a shirt to put on. He knows you need food. He knows you need uh, this. He knows you better than you know yourself. He's made you. He's created you. Right? So why worry? 
right? But no, God has a plan for you, and he's going to try you. He's going to try you because I, I got a text today that she, oh, uh, my sister was having trouble and was um, struggling a little bit. And I told her, God's going to try you. He's going to try you on, on, on trials that um, to see how faithful you are. And I told her, you know, actually, I didn't tell her this, but I'm going to. I should. I, the Holy Spirit, just right now, just feel it, you know. Um, you don't, when you're in a trial, it may be really hard to you know, see that you are in a trial. Maybe the person outside the box of that trial has to see that it's a trial. You know, I've had situations like that. And other people have had situations like that. Because God doesn't, God, God isn't the father of confusion. You know, if if you're having a rough day, maybe it's a trial. Maybe God wants you to call on His name to see how faithful you are to Him. Or if you if you do something wrong, of course He's going to chastise you a little bit, or or, or correct you in the right punishment area. But He's not going to say, "I'm going to feed you to the wolves." Here, just I don't want you in my sight. No. Just repent, you know. Of course, it, it. You know, for me, I repent daily. Even, you know, I just want to be good in God's eyes. I want to love all as He has loved us. You know, and it, it's very tough in these day, kind of days. You know, to just not take anything to heart, to not verbally, you know, not to not to verbally attack someone else if they're verbally attacking you. Of course, you know, the devil knows he has but a smidge of a time left. And he is trying to do anything he can to scatter the bride of Christ. Right? If you need help, if you need prayer, you can't do it alone. You know, if, and I'm going to ask you for prayers for me, for my family, and I'm going to and I'm going to do the same thing for you. So please, if you have a prayer request, if you have someone in your family that's struggling, pray for them and know that God is there for them too. But pray for them. You know, but what does it say in Matthew? Um, you know, it says, uh, when God had dinner with um, the sinners and the publicans and, and, and all the, and uh, one of the publicans says, why is he having dinner with us and, the sin- and all these sinners? You know, and Jesus heard that and he said, what? What did he say? He said, it's not that I call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. It's not just I call the righteous, but the sinners also to repentance. He loves you more than in a, on the Mount of Olives. Or excuse me, the, um, the message on, remember when he was on the Mount and he was preaching his words to all these people, right? It wasn't a mountain. You know, where, you know, everybody's isolated to where they can't get to. It was on a road. Basically, every, everybody goes to and fro. And everybody came. Everybody who wanted to hear this message came, right? And people from on the road just came up to it. Just uh, People who hated everybody in that situation, even they just said, oh, let's, you know, hear them out. And they did. And they, you know, they be, all became friends, People, you know, it's, it, we are in these last moments. We are in these last days. And there's just so, more, so much bitterness, so much hate in this world. How can you not see that's from the enemy? You know, sorry, I'm just looking at someone from outside. Uh, but guys, we are in these final moments, these final days. And God loves you more than you know. Repent. Pray. And know that God loves you. Have faith. We are in these final moments. We can do this. I love you all. Ciao.